Games from my childhood. Okay, Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Red, Pokemon Blue. Metal Gear Solid. One, two, and three. It was the Agent Under Fire game from James Bond, and that was fantastic. PS2 has just come out, and everyone wants to play it. One of the, I think one of the biggest games of my childhood was Prince of Persia: Warrior Within on the PS2, because that was like the first console that I got. And then the Nintendo 64 Pokemon Stadium game, fantastic. Um, and also Ratchet and Clank, and the, the, particularly the second Ratchet and Clank game. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but yeah, those are definitely the games of my childhood. Game of Color. First things that come to your head. Um, well, I have, a, I have a purple Game Boy Advance that I remember playing Pokemon Crystal on. Beautifully simplistic. It reminds me of being about seven. Sat with my friends at school, going crazy on some Pokemon. This thing reminds me of spending countless nights playing it under the duvet with a little kind of LED light that sits on there, hoping that my mum wouldn't catch me. I'd get into about six in the morning where the battery would finally run out and you lose all of that saved progress. Good memories, good memories from Game Boy Color. Nintendo 3DS, isn't it? Yes. Um, I have a I have a 3DS XL. Intense jealousy of the owner. <laughs> They're expensive. I still quite want one because I want to carry on the nostalgia from my childhood. Um, it's a good reaction. <laughs> I stopped playing at Game Boy Color personally. This to me is something that's it's kind of like a new device, but I would tend to feel that it's more for the younger generation. When was the last time you went to an arcade? Oh god. Um... Ooh. Must be a couple of years back, I have to say. <laughs> a couple of years back. Probably early last year or the year before. Probably a good 10 years ago. <laughs> it's, it's been a while! <laughs> Well, um, there's two reasons really. I'll get looked after in the snack bar, right? Because they, they give me tea and coffee all day and whatever. I think when we've got a lot of tickets and then we get prizes, mm. you, get, you can get like, prizes over there when you win the tickets. And that's quite nice. We, I mean, we've still got stuff that we've won over the years. We live in Rochester, so this is kind of a day out. So every month or two, we'll come down have something to eat, go on the beach and then spend £10 and it's all part of the day. And the other thing is just a bit of a buzz, a bit of a buzz for it. Right, well, Shaney Pashley, the owner, her family has, for the last five generations, has been involved in the arcade stroke funfair business. The older people tend to play the the fruit machines in the adult gaming centre and the families all seem to play the ticket machines. Well it's a bit embarrassing because I just put a pound into the machine on one over a thousand tickets. It just kept on running out. So half of it cost a pound which isn't too bad. People like coming in here and playing the ticket machines and that and then it's nice, they say, it's nice for their children to actually have a go at winning tickets and then actually walking out the arcade with a, with a prize that they feel that they've earned themselves. And uh, it's smiles all round, basically. How much would you usually spend in arcades? Uh, probably about 50, 60 pound, I suppose. Is that on one machine or is it yeah. on a variety? Yeah, that'd be on 
on all the ones I go on. I'll limit, limit myself to about that, and then if I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. How often do you come to arcades, or in particular this arcade? Um, about four times a week. Yeah, it's only live up the road. <laughs> Um, do you enjoy gaming more so now, or do you prefer playing with retro games? I have to say I'm a graphics guy. I much prefer modern gaming. I play for the graphics, I play for the realism and the believability of a game. With retro gaming, it was more all about your own personal achievements. At least is what I get kind of from my perspective at least, you know, you go into school, you'd be like, oh, I got this Pikachu, oh, I've got my Pokemon to level 100, and everyone want to trade with you. And it was more of kind of a social thing between people opposed to over the net. <laughs> uncrouch, how do you uncrouch? I think I do because they've got that more modern feel to them. Um, and there's a lot more, the multiplayer is a bit more easy to get, you know, get going on the, on the modern games. So I, I kind of like, personally, I like playing games with all my friends. What are your opinions on Games consoles, modern games consoles, such as like the Xbox and the PlayStation 3 in comparison with arcade games. Never played them. Never played them. Never played them. Never, played them. Never wanted to. I prefer the kind of Nintendo, Xbox type of thing. What do you prefer, Will? The Wii. The Wii, yeah. Okay, what's your favourite Nintendo Wii game? Mario Kart. Yeah. Good choice. Good choice. <laughs> I keep on trying to panic knife, but that doesn't work. Panic knife. Yeah. <laughs> panic punch! <laughs> oh, no! That play! That play, man! Oh my god! <laughs> what a final play! <laughs> I don't need guns. Do you think arcades are still important to today's gaming society? Yeah, hell yeah. Of course. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, I think so. I think there's something in an arcade that you'll always get, instead of, as I said, playing in front of a TV or a console, I think it's more passive. I think every time you go on holiday, if you haven't got, like, your games around with you and you see an arcade, it's like, well, let's go play some games at the arcade. and It's a bit of fun, isn't it? I think, to an extent, arcades are dying a death because they've been completely overshadowed by the gaming industry. I think sort of their main... Their main uh, purpose now is to steal money from vulnerable children and tourists that have come along with a bit too much spending cash. So my final question to you in as few words as possible, is this a job or is this a passion? Uh, I would say it is definitely a passion rather than a job. Uh, a job for now, but it can. I think if I'm here long enough I can... That's a lot of paper, I can't see it.